I'm Chandler with World Gone Silent, and today I want to talk to you about simplex versus duplex. You might have heard these terms before when people talk about ham radio or amateur radio. They're not super complicated, but they can sort of be a stumbling block on understanding what's going on. So I'm going to try to help you understand what's going on. Like right just then, that was uh, my Winlink station identifying itself over the air. There's all sorts of crazy radio stuff going on in here. So you might be wondering who these two guys are. This is you. Look at you, you're adorable. Are you cute as the dickens? Now let's say you want to get on the radio and talk to your buddy Harry over here. As long as there's nothing in between you and Harry, you'll have no problem being able to reach each other on the radio. But sometimes there is a problem. Sometimes it's something obvious, but sometimes it's something a little less obvious, like the Earth. If you're on different parts of the Earth and the Earth is curved, your buddy Harry might be over here, and you are over here, all of a sudden, your radios won't be able to reach each other anymore. Because the Earth is curved, the top of the Earth can peek out and interfere between your radio getting in touch with Harry's radio. You only need to go about seven or eight miles, and even though you're on something that appears to be flat Earth, it's not really flat Earth. Sorry, flat Earthers, but <laughs> the Earth is not flat. That small curvature of the Earth could stop your antenna from reaching Harry's antenna over here. Ham radio operators have come up with a brilliant way to get around this problem. That solution is called duplex. That is when your radio talks to a different radio from the person you're trying to reach. Now, why would you want to do something like that? I got another demonstration for you. Let's say this time the obstruction between you reaching Harry isn't the curvature of the earth, but it's a building. With this building in between you and Harry, you won't be able to talk. But if there were an antenna on top of that building, your radio could hit the antenna and then the antenna would be able to hit Harry. That's called duplex. So you're using one radio to reach a different radio. This solution is awesome because since this antenna is way high up off the ground, you can be much, much further away from Harry. As long as the top of the antenna on your radio has a direct line of sight to the top of the antenna on the other radio, you'll be able to communicate. And in this case, you could be miles and miles away from Harry. As long as this antenna up here has an unobstructed line of sight between your radio and his radio, it's going to work. These kinds of radios that are on top of towers and high places all over the world are called repeaters. And we're going to talk more about repeaters in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it, hopefully you appreciate it, and I bet Harry would appreciate it too. Unlike Harry, you don't need to learn any magic words to operate with ham radio. Expecto Catronas! Go ahead and check out our website at worldgonesilent.com. And if you want to learn more about the hobby, just stay tuned here. I'm going to be posting plenty more videos about different aspects of the hobby, including what that whole crazy setup is over there. Don't worry, we'll get there, but we're not quite there yet. Thanks so much.